Howdy folks, I'm Brian, and uh, here's the Midnight Special. I decided that I would read this one in a funny voice, maybe even a bit of ironic voice here, just because, I don't know, like, again, don't, uh, if you're offended by this, just let me know, let me know that this is, I'm making you uncomfortable, and uh, I won't read them in certain voices and stuff like that, so, yeah, let's get started. Am I a jerk for switching into a sleeveless shirt at my girlfriend's work party? and for talking about all my anime tats to some of her co-workers. I'm a huge Dragon Ball fan, and as a short, egotistical, angry man, Vengeta resonates with me deeply. So, I got a tattoo of him in monkey mode recently. All of my tattoos are anime references. I got a Jojo and a Yu Yu Hakusho and a one One Piece tattoo. I'm a huge weeb, much to my girlfriend's disappointment, apparently. So my girlfriend's boss was hosting a barbecue at her place for all the employees. We were allowed to dress casually, but my girlfriend wanted me to wear a long sleeve shirt to cover up my tattoos. I was like, there's no effing way. It's going to be hot as f. She begged me to wear one if I wanted to come because she didn't want her boss to judge her and she thought my heavily tattooed arms would be inappropriate for a workplace get-together where things aren't supposed to be that casual. I agreed because I didn't want to be bored at home and miss a good barbecue food. But I packed a shirt in the car for afterwards to put on once I leave. It's a sleeveless because I only planned on wearing it afterwards. So we get there and everyone is dressed casually but appropriately for a work party. You know, polos and short sleeve dress shirts, dark jeans, work pants and nice shoes, all summer clothing. I'm hot as f in my sweater and had these spicy wings that I couldn't stop eating, so I was sweating and uncomfortably hot. And my new Vegeta tat was itching with my sweater on. I made some small talk with her co-workers, but I was uncomfortable. So I say f it. I go to my car and change into my sleeveless, put in more deodorant, and head back. My girlfriend sees me and her eyes pop out of her head. She makes her way towards me, but some of her co-workers are already talking to me about my tats, asking me what they mean, so I explain to them that I'm a huge anime and magna fan and that all of my tats are about different series that I love. I can see that some of her co-workers are looking at me strangely because I guess I do stand out a bit now. So later on we leave and my girlfriend lets me hear it. She gets on my case for embarrassing her. She says it was embarrassing to have her boyfriend be so inappropriately dressed while he was talking about anime tattoos. I told her it was too hot to wear a long sleeve the whole time but my girlfriend was mad that I broke our promise. We argued about our stance on the matter for the whole ride home and just tried to forget about it, but afterwards I could tell that she was still upset. Am I the jerk for changing shirts or is my girlfriend the jerk for getting mad at me over this? So, OP... The one thing I want to know is, you said it was too hot for a long sleeve shirt. So, you decided to wear a sweater? A sweater. You didn't go for like a thin, you know, breezy shirt. No, 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 no. You said, you know what? I want a thick sweater. <laughs> Surely, surely you could have judged a smidge better in that situation. Just a smidge. All right. You know, this is a tricky situation. 
I think that tattoos are a form of expression, but you also agreed to not uh, to wear a long sleeve shirt, and so you broke your promise there. <sighs> There's a lot of gray in this situation. I don't know what a good solution is. I don't don't know what a good judgment is. Period. You violated your promise. You told your girlfriend you would wear a shirt, but then you didn't. I don't know that this was necessarily as big of a deal as it should have been. Um, and, you know, if you like your tattoos and are really proud of them, then that's a fair form of personal expression. And, you know, you shouldn't necessarily be forced to cover up your tattoos just because other people are uncomfortable with them. You know, these people are all adults and you're not employed there, so it shouldn't really matter what they think of you personally. If And I can certainly understand from your girlfriend's perspective, though, if she's afraid that they will think badly of her because of your tattoos. But in some way, that's a little twisted because it also means that she's afraid to that um, who you are will affect her employment. So, uh, you know, this is this is kind of a really gray situation. I'm I'm not sure I like the repercussions on either end here. And so I I think that I'm probably just going to have to say both people, both of you are jerks in this situation. You're a jerk for violating your promise. I think she's a bit of a jerk for, you know, being embarrassed by your tattoos and being embarrassed by you a little bit. And I just think that that's a really unhealthy relationship dynamic to have. Your your partner shouldn't be you know embarrassed by you at you shouldn't be embarrassed by your partner at any given time, um, and so this is just kind of an icky situation for me. It really is. I I just don't like I just don't like the consequences of what all this means. Anyhow, take care and good luck. You're the jerk. Dude, it's her work party. She asked you not to do this. You agreed. And then you proceeded not to care. And you did what you wanted anyways without giving her a heads up. And why are you wearing a sweater when you know it's hot? Don't you have a dress shirt? I mean, you could have rolled up the sleeves on it. But apparently your only options were a sweater or a sleeveless shirt. Come on, man. You sound like a nightmare. Yeah, I think... I mean, yeah, this is again... I think this is premeditated... Uh, that was actually a point Amber was pointing out. Um, I don't know if I, I don't think I explicitly said that above, but yeah, it's, it, this does seem like a premeditated situation here and that he is kind of doing this on purpose to, so that he wouldn't have to wear his, you know, long sleeve shirt. This exactly. He planned this out from the beginning and that's just sabotage. You're the jerk. You set this up. You even brought an extra shirt, and now you want to blame it on the wings. You had this planned all along, and you didn't care one bit how it affected your girlfriend and her job. What part of begging you to cover up or not come did you not understand? Did you really do this intentionally just to sabotage her? Because that's what it looks like. Alright, well hopefully you enjoyed this shorter video, read in a silly, funny voice. Anyhow, take care, and we'll see you later.